Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm still Bless Fiedler, professional photographer in the south of France and uh, you are watching the part two of how to master the Pixel X800C flash. In this part we're going to be talking about two things. First is the multi or stroboscopic mode and the second thing is um, we're going to be taking one of these flashes off camera and using the most simple off camera triggering mode, the mode S1 and S2. So the multi-mode, what is the multi-mode, also known as the stroboscopic mode? Well, it's not for the epileptics out there because it's going to be triggering a huge amount of little flashes. Why would you use that? Well, to uh, decompose movement. Imagine somebody running and jumping. Well, you would just trigger that in stroboscopic mode and you would have every movement decomposed. Uh, so you'd have a great photo of uh, lots of different impressions of your athlete running and jumping. To uh, use the stroboscopic mode, you're going to need to input three parameters and do some very simple maths. So I'm here to help. Don't worry. How do we get to this multi-mode? Well, here's this big mode button, ETTL, manual, and you are in multi-mode. The three settings are the following. The power of your flash, how often you want it to trigger, and at what frequency you want it to trigger. So you're working in manual mode in stroboscopic or multi-mode. So that means you're going to have to input a fraction. Let me take a scenario. You want to um, uh, photograph an athlete running and you are going to be putting your camera on a tripod and taking a two second long exposure. Okay, so as he enters to the scene until he exits, it takes two seconds. During that time, you want 20 impressions of him. So that's it. That's your creative choices. Now we are going to input these in the camera. You're going to be measuring the flash power and let's say you want to work at 1 32nd of the power. So that's the first thing I'm going to be setting here. 1 4th, 8, 16, 32. Perfect. Okay. And I said I want it 20 times. So here you've got this now button that has changed to multi star fn so when there's a little star that means you need to depress for a long time or a longer time the button to access that so a short press on that button will get to the multi option so multi i said i wanted this 20 times okay so i just put 20 right here okay now comes the important decision it's the frequency so here comes the math simple math you are going to be working two seconds and you are going to be triggering that 20 times. That means you want 10 flashes per second. 10 in the first second, 10 in the first second second. Um, so you simply are going to be working at a frequency of 10. Frequency simply means the amount of times the flash is going to be triggered per second. Okay, so I press here and I put a frequency of 10. There we go. That's all perfect. So the math is simple. You uh, simply divide the number of times you want to trigger by your exposure length. So here, 20 divided by 2 equals 10, and you find the frequency. And here, look, if you're epileptic, you might want not to look. There you go. I don't know if you want to count them, but there were 20 different flashes that triggered and all that took two seconds. Look, if I um, if I here put 20 hertz, so it's going to um, flash um, at 20 times per, per second. Let me change the, the power because that's causing a problem uh, at that amount, that frequency. It can't trigger at that power that often. So 20 times. Now look, it's going to go much faster. Okay. So 20 times 20 hertz. What does that mean? It means that it's only flashing during one second. So if you have a two second exposure, 
It means your athlete is going to be all flash during the first second, the first half of your photo, but not flash at all during the second half of your photo. So that's why you will need to do some simple maths to get these three parameters right. Okay, so this is a cool mode, lots of fun you can have with the stroboscopic mode. Now let's move to the second feature of this flash, which is taking it off camera. In part, part three is really going to be the off camera extravaganza. We're going to be looking at lots of different ways, but now I want to tell you about the very simplest way you can take this flash off camera and trigger it with any flash out there. I mean, anyone, any, any, any flash. You have a little digital camera, probably even your, 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 your smartphone with a flash will be able to trigger this flash. And this is called the S1, S2 mode for simple. Really, it's a simple mode. Some would say stupid. I don't say stupid. It's just simple, 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 simple. So how do you, how do you get there? Well, to get to um, any off camera modes, you've got this little flash right here that you need to stay pressed on. You see, there's a star remote. Okay. So as I press it on for the first time, I arrive in a master mode for this flash. And as I press it in the second time, uh, sorry, long press, I arrive in slave mode. Master means that this flash will be controlling the others. Slave mode, it means that this flash will be listening for other flashes out there all ready to be triggered. My plan is to trigger this flash with this one in simple mode. Uh, again, I'm using here another Pixel X800C, but I could be using absolutely any flash available. So here I'm getting slave B mode normal. It says normal, there's nothing normal about that. This is actually, when it says normal, it's actually a very powerful mode. But let's, um, let's, let's get into S1 and S2 mode. So here, this has changed into mode star FN. So as I click here, I can change this simply into S1, S2, and back to normal. So I want, I want to work in S1 or S2. So let me just explain the difference. Your master flash can be set as it is right here, you know, to be working in ETTL or it can be set to work in manual. If it's an ETTL, it's triggering several flashes. There's the pre-flash to measure the exposure and there's the real flash. This is a very important information you need to have because it will affect what mode you're putting here. If your master flash is in ETTL mode, you have to set yourself here in S2. The way I remember that is two means several flashes. You know, one is just one flash. So here it means that it's going to be, it's not going to be triggering on the pre-flash, but only on the real flash. So here I'm good. I'm good to go. Mode S2, I set my power. I want to work this one to work at, let's say a quarter of a power. Okay. Quarter of power, I said right here. Perfect. Okay. And let's give it a shot. There you go. You see? Can you see that? Well, let me, let me put this in full power. So I'm sure you see it despite the video sync speed. There we go. Okay. So you can see that, uh, this worked very well. Now let, let's, let's do the scenario where this flash, I'm going to be working here in manual mode. Okay. Now look at this thing. You see, it's not triggering because it's just seeing this one flash and we told them to only trigger on a TTL flash. Okay, now let's take the second scenario because this, you might run into this problem. So I want to make sure that you understand how this all works. So let's say you, you, um, you put this, sorry, let me get out of here. You put this here in S1 mode. So it triggers on a manual flash. Okay. So S1 mode, full power. Here I'm in manual mode. Okay. I'm going to trigger and look at that. Okay. This thing has triggered all good. This is exactly what we want. Now let's say, uh, you, uh, you weren't paying attention and you put this one here in ETTL mode. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Well, let's give it a try. Aha. This thing fired as well. And that's just an illusion. Yes, it did fire, but did not fire at the right time. 
ETL mode, there's a pre-flash and a real flash. He's only looking for the very first flash that's triggering anywhere in the room. And that's your pre-flash. So he triggered too early. Your, you, your eyes saw that flash, but your exposure will not see that flash. It's that, this is something that's painful because um, you are gonna have a hard time understanding why this is not working. Well, why it's not working is because you are not in the right mode. Okay, so pay close attention. This is, um, you know, it's, it's a great mode to really quickly take one of these flashes off camera. You just put it there, S1, S2 mode, and uh, input the manual power and you're good to go. Super simple. It will work with any camera you have. But that also includes Uncle Bob's camera. So if you have other photographers in the room, they will be triggering your flash without even knowing it. And actually, without even being able to do anything about it, they will be triggering your flash. So this is uh, an easy, simple mode, as the S says. However, it's not an ideal mode. And the good news is there are two other uh, great modes on which we can fire the X800C and these modes we'll be seeing in part number three. So uh, please follow me to part number three. I'm Blaise Fiedler and I really hope to see you very soon. Bye there.